waking up. Well, couldn't you have bloody waited? Space doesn't wait for anyone, sir. There's an entire universe outside these walls, and we're here journeying through it. Can't do that and have lions now, can we? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, well, that's just typical, isn't it? Every single morning, nothing but verbal abuse. Well, you know what, Morgan? Captain. You're supposed to call me Captain. Oh, wow. Captain of a one-man ship. Very impressive. They should promote you to Colonel. Well, you know what, Captain? Let me ask you something. Who's really steering this ship? Who maintains the oxygen supply a fuel intake? I tell you, if it wasn't for my stupid programming, I would have ejected you months ago. Oh, God. Shut up. Well, there we are again. Verbal abuse. I suppose you'll ask for a coffee next. Cappuccino. But make it quietly. Just be lucky I can't spit in that. You forgot the cream. We're all out. God, are you sure the dishwasher's still broken? Do you honestly think I'd keep it a secret from you if it was working? Yes. Look, it's not my fault that you don't always listen. Just shut up and get me another coffee. You're required to submit your monthly report. Same as last time. The ship's made of cardboard, the computer's annoying, you suck, this mission sucks, I should have run away from base before you could send me off on this waste of brain cells. Yep, that's the one. Nothing short of poetry, sir. Wordsworth would be proud. La, do you mind? Well, why did you sign up if you were going to complain all the time? I don't know. I thought it'd be different. Glamorous, you know. Like those posters you used to see back home. The spacewalking astronauts with the planets reflected in their eyes and a, a spaceship that's actually made of metal. Anything but this. Hey, I don't enjoy having this ship either. You can't feel the drafts. And you don't see all the abusive emails I get from the other computers. What with the crap ship, crap connection and crap captain, I'm now the laughing stock of cyberspace. You know, I would have liked just one conversation without an insult. Just one. Sorry, babe. Can't define my programming. Well, you could at least try. Or, or just pretend. Sorry, babe. Can't define my programming. Right. I'm off to get changed. Don't perv on me. You said you wouldn't perv on me. Right, you carry on steering and doing your background tasks. I'll do maintenance. Like you could steer even if you wanted to. Also, what maintenance even needs doing? Changing the engine bolts. So please, no distractions. We're 21 million miles from Beetlejuice. Well, keep us away from any danger. We're not exactly fireproof in here. An acute observation, sir. <sighs> stunning, absolutely stunning. I thought you said you hated this mission. I hate the bits that are not like this. You know, the housework bits and the putting up with you bits. Touché.
Morgan. What? The engine's blown. Well, <clears throat> it was bound to happen at some point. Bet you put the wrong bolts on it. <laughs> what difference would bloody bolts have made? My ship's made of bloody cardboard. A bunch of blindfolded baboons couldn't have made a worse design. Well, that's your own fault for pissing off the Admiral. First, that incident was an accident. And second, it's your fault because you were clearly flying too close to Beetlejuice. Was not. Was too. I'm telling you, I was not. For that star to have blown the engine, it would have had to have been going into supernova and I know one of them when I see. This is an extreme weather warning. If you're in the vicinity of the red giant Beetlejuice, within two hours the star will go supernova. We highly suggest that you vacate the area, otherwise everything will be fried like an overly done omelette. Have, have, have a nice day. You were saying? And in other news, Spaceway 25 is highly congested and Neo Wales will be suffering severe acid rain for anything between two weeks and a fortnight. So, how long will it take us to be out of danger if we carry on drifting? Two hours and five minutes. Right. So we've got two hours to make a new engine. One that preferably won't explode? Preferably. Yeah, no, I can email myself if I feel there's no hope. You said your internet connection was crap earlier. Well, you know what the signal's like out here? Always fluctuating. What about your programming? Weren't you programmed to protect me? I was programmed not to harm you. Big difference. Well, what about the cargo? You were programmed to protect that as well. Okay, maybe you've got a point. I'll need to check. <laughs> Thank you. Now, let's get back to the storeroom and see what we've got to work with. Not a lot, it would seem. What are we meant to do with all this? I don't know. Wait. Are there auxiliary engines on this ship? Yes, but all the fuel escaped when the engine blew. Doesn't matter. They can run on electricity. We're going to build a turbine. Running on what? Water. We've got enough on board. Don't you need that to stay alive? Or will the blood of innocence suffice? We've got enough to last for months. If this plan works, we'll reach the next base in a couple of days. So the piping system spreads water to every part of the ship, the majority of which goes to the kitchen. If we use the spare pipes to divert the water running there back round to the engine room, we'll have more than enough to power the auxiliary engines. Yes, but the water would need to be at a higher pressure than our pumps can manage. We can boil the water to steam if I can disengage the boiler safety cooler. I'll need your help with that bit. I'll get ready to email away all the same. Oh yeah. That reminds me. Administrative Commandment 6. Any artificial intelligence program that abandons its ship while a living crew member is present shall be deleted and wiped from all hard drives and operating systems regardless of context, motivations or cost of replacement. <laughs> You're not the only one with quick access to the handbook. Bugger. Now can I rely on you for a helping hand? I think you can. Good. Better get cracking then. Wait, but before that... Do you want me to put a countdown up on screen? You know, for dramatic effect and all that? Sure. Whatever. Right, La. Talk to me. Well... For starters, the shipbuilders never intended for this system to be disengaged, which means you'll need to do it manually. Okay, how do I do that? Try by disconnecting the third black wire on the circuit board. Now what? That should be it. Seriously? 
Is that all I had to do? I never said the shipbuilders were smart. In fact, they've always struck me as quite thick. Evidently. I'm here for what must be the greatest natural phenomenon of our age. 11.6 million megatons of red giant are about to explode and we're going to film it in 34k slow-mo. There's no one else here, we're sitting just outside the danger zone. This is going to be an absolute bloody nightmare. It won't fit. Well, I guess there's always the duct tape. I'm really not in the mood right now. That wasn't a joke. Every ship has an emergency roll of duct tape. Well, why didn't you tell me that before? It wasn't a level five emergency before now. Oh, for God's sake, La. Right, what does that leave? Just the turbine. Remember, this will need to withstand the force of the pressurized water in the pipes. Well, yes, but it only needs to for a few minutes. So, what's your plan? We use the placemats from the mess as paddles, and then we just need something to act as the central pole. Okay, I think that's ready. Okay, and activate. Oh, give me a break. We don't have time to build any more piping. Well, there's always the wind. Wind? We're in space, La. There's no air. I was referring to solar winds. Do you know, that could actually work. Positive thinking. Quite impressive for an emotionless android, isn't it? Now, I need to build a new turbine. Whoops! Looks like our weatherman's initial calculations were wrong. We now have about nine minutes until the big event. All I can say is thank goodness we're nice and safe in here. Okay, La, open the pod bay doors. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I'm not sure I can do that. Oh, for God's sake, I'll do it.
Was that it? That was absolutely amazing. A true cosmic spectacle. In all my years of presenting, I can honestly say that I have never seen anything like that. The true scale of the really was something to and oh my word, the incredible that we got Looks like we've got our connection back. Joy. Well, now we just need to wait for rescue. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> How's your game, Isamic? Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, all right. Hmm? Really? Yeah, sounds fun. Oh, okay, great. That sounds like our lift. Do we know who they are? Nope. Yeah. Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, God. It's that bloody presenter.